do the project or we can I will let you inform the planning that we are Apart okay. From that, there is no okay. Uh, but uh, for the optical mm -hmm. clinic, I mean, uh, from your judgment, are they interested, or is it not really? Actually, from the government side, is not interested. So okay. I removed it from my list. The one is uh, I said. So this is a private uh, clinic. They show interest, but uh, how can I say there is no yes or no evidence. Uh, at, mm. at the time, time okay. Discussion. Okay. They will do the standard discussion, so maybe it takes uh, a couple of weeks. I, I have to go again. Understand. After that, uh, please, yeah. Um, yes, I mean, from my feeling, it's not saying it's not that easy. Yeah. Um, probably, we may not be focusing on this anymore. Um, uh, so, uh, use your time wisely if you have time. Maybe follow up again, but uh, no need to push. Um, if it yes. is, yeah. If it if they are not interested, we if we push it, is is uh is not, uh, is not, not in their interest, happen. and the project will fail. So, uh, just 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 let's see how how the way things goes. Um, because I know uh this is a new technology, and um it would probably increase their workload instead of uh, helping them <laughs> to reduce the workload. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's yeah. something that we need to reconsider probably. Okay, yeah. thank you very so much. It's just a screening, you know, it's just a screening. What they want is a specific uh, disease, you know, the uh, instrument, something like that. So yeah. it's exactly uh, uh, the problem is like that. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, then the next topic, I want to report some of the findings from our board director meeting on the 7th of uh, February. So uh, P. Hasita already covered the DG visit report. Uh, earlier, he also said, so we have decided to participate in the RCC project, uh, the Rotary Community Center project. So uh, we'll be participating with the solar panel project. Um, and uh, and uh, this will be a group effort from all the Yangon clubs. So uh, we'll see how we can uh, pull our, our resources together and work together. Uh, and then as, a, as, a, as an example, maybe moving forward, we can have uh, some of the uh, more meaningful and more impactful uh, services in the future in this way. Um, so the discussion on the LCC is concluded. Uh, we will participate uh, by the decision of the board of director. Um, and then we have a discussion on the global grant project for the uh, Taipei project. We have approved and I have signed the MOU. The discussion on the global grant project from, uh, from uh, uh, Xingdian so today we have invited uh, uh, Ms. Lin Sandy Lim to uh, present it so we can get more information on this project. Uh, basically, it's uh, okay because most of the work, uh, all the money comes from Taiwan. Most of the work will be done by Sandy and we will just be monitoring and if possible, uh, have a representative to go to the site. Um, number five, uh, confirm review uh, Rotary Club of Greater Yangon uh, bylaws. And we have already proceeded for changing into English and Chinese speaking. So I don't think that this year we have any more changes. And uh, this is the picture when we have the board of director meeting last uh, two weeks ago. Okay, so today we have the honor to invite uh, the representative from the Rotary Club of Taiwan, Xingdian Great Lake, uh, uh, and uh, represented by uh, Ms. Sandy Lin. Uh, she is the uh, um, kind of the uh, inventor of uh, this organization, uh, the uh, the uh, uh, volunteers in Myanmar group, um, and uh, she will be uh, sharing with us the global grant project that is uh, about 
a hundred thousand US dollars worth, uh, building a school, well, building an extension to a school in the northern uh, Shan state uh, in Laoshu area. So thank you very much, uh, Santi, for joining us. I uh, give you the floor. Okay. Uh, hello. Hello, uh, it's my pleasure welcome. to pleasure to join your meeting. And now I want to introduce the project to you. My name is Lin Yushan, and you can call me Sandy. I'm from Taiwan, and I'm a Taiwanese. Uh, I go to Myanmar for the volunteer trip in 2016, uh, maybe eight years ago. Uh, after the trip, I organized uh, a group. I managed a group to do the volunteers. So I'm a, I'm the project doing. So you can see my uh you can see my group name. I found the Chinese education service team in Myanmar uh, in the 2017 years. And this time this project we co cooperate with the uh, Rotary Club of the Xindian Green Lake. And you can see our group, this is our project in the Myanmar. Uh, okay, so this is me. I'm the leader of our group. So I uh, I founded this group 2017 years. And our group's version, uh, you can see we are doing some things around in the Chinese school in the north of Myanmar, especially in the Lashio. So many, many Chinese schools in this area. So the job we do is to purchase some uh, service and course, and uh, we want to give angry child the rights to the education. So our version is to quality education in these seven to eight years. Uh, so about us, you can see our groups in the Myanmar. These years, we do many, many things, uh, including we have many corporations schools in the last show, maybe 50 schools. And we uh, support uh, over 250 children to school. We survive them the fee to study, to eat, and to live in the school. And we found the Taiwanese youth to go to the uh, Myanmar schools to do the volunteers during the uh, vacation. And in Taiwan, uh, we transport many supplies totals to the Myanmar, including the clothes, including the books, and this time, uh, we have two Chinese schools in the last show. So this is our job. Uh, okay, so everyone can see the map. Uh, our group, our group, uh, we, Oh, this job, this project in the same state near the last show. So we can see the map where is the last show. And the, the last show, <laughs> the Chinese school is the nurse of last show. So I prepare this page. Everyone can see the location of the student. And the school is in the Mangong village. The school start in 2023 20, years. So it's last year, the school just opened. Now there are maybe 120 students. And this year, we maybe will be 200 students in the school. And now the Chinese teachers have five, five Chinese teachers. So the education levels, including kindergarten and the elementary, elementary the, Low and the middle grades in this school. So we can see the pictures uh, for now these schools. They, they have two uh, classrooms 
and uh, uh, the picture is our teachers. So you can see the picture in the classroom is very uh, low quality uh, for the desk and the chairs. And we want to do more professional uh, foundational education to our teachers. We want to provide the good, good course to our students. So, so this time, uh, my project to the Xindian uh, Green Lake Club uh, Rotary, we want to do four things. So uh, you can read the English, you can see our project content, including one, two, three, four. One is for the uh, classroom, classroom and students activity center. We want to do more classrooms. And the two things is we will uh, provide the training for the teacher. Education training is the number two. And number three, uh, we want to purchase more classroom supplies, including the desk, the chairs, the backboard, and the other necessaries in the school. And the four, uh, we will provide the books from Taiwan to Myanmar. So this four project in this case, we want to do more for this school. school. Okay, so number one, you can see this page is, in, uh, is for our uh, version. We want to increase the number of classrooms from two classrooms to five classrooms and including the toilet for the girl and for the men. And uh, the uh, student activity space they can play on the play the ground. So this is for number one. We want to increase the test rate. Number two is for the training. Training include uh training including the three things. Number one is health education. Number two is for the teacher, a local teacher training. And number three is administration management training. So we want to at uh, least school be better. So they need to follow healthy for the teacher and the, the administrative management. So this is for number two. Uh, number three, you can see we want to do these things. We want to provide students desk and chairs and the blackboard. So our, uh, our, we want to do the things like you can see the picture is the, for students supplies. Okay, next year. And uh, number four. Number four is for the books, textbooks. So the textbooks is from Taiwan to the Myanmar. So we will go buy the, buy the, 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 container, the, uh, container to Myanmar, to Myanmar from Yangon and to the Lashio. So this books from Taiwan's uh, company, then uh, donate to us and we supply them to the students. So the, uh, you can see the subject including Chinese, English, math, healthy, and the Burma, Burma and including the uh, healthy. So uh, these books will for free for the school. We want to provide the good textbooks for this student and it's all for free. Okay, next year. So uh, this is this case, uh, the budget. Uh, so you can see total is uh, not exceeding 100,000 US dollar. Roughly 90, okay. 95, 96,000 US dollar. Okay, so you can see this. Uh, these pictures is every every project in this case we will use the U.S. dollar to do this case. Okay, okay, next year. Okay, uh, so we want to uh sustainable operation for this school, Mangong Chinese School. So for the school. So school, uh, we will train them if they uh, need after this project, uh, the intervention is damaged, the school will bear, uh, bear them by themselves. 
uh, because this all uh, mentoring from this project is a low cost advice. So all items can be purchased locally. Uh, and in the future, we will provide the textbook, textbook sustainability. So it's not very, uh, don't worry about these schools in the future. So this is my group. Uh, our organization will do some things, uh, including this, uh, include during this case. So my group will, uh, um, so the MBVOM, the uh uh the educational um uh group of for Myanmar, they will motivate the volunteers and conduct all the uh local activities, including the construction, the uh, transportation, the logistics, uh the um purchasing of the material. So uh, they, they will be the hands uh, on the ground, so to speak. So the money will be coming from Taiwan. And uh, after the completion of the construction, uh, they will continue to uh, conduct the training, train the teachers, uh, bring the materials, and uh, follow up on the building uh, maintenance and uh, and uh, and uh, assistance uh, for the tuition and the living uh, expenses. So, uh, um, uh, uh, Sandy's group uh, will be one hundred percent accountable for the project's execution. Okay. Uh, so after this case. Our group will provide financial assistance for this school uh, in the future. Okay, yeah, yeah. So if everyone has any question, uh, you can uh, ask me and I will <laughs> give you the answers. Uh, maybe you can introduce your group uh, a little bit more first, some of the backgrounds of the history. Okay. So you can see uh, this DN is for our groups in English. So our groups is uh, got founded 2017. So uh, until now, maybe it's in uh, seven, seven years. So I go to the volunteer in Myanmar uh, and I major in education in college. So uh, I want to be a teacher. <laughs> I want to be a teacher. When I go to Myanmar, uh, uh, there's very many Chinese schools in a very uh, local or urban, not urban. So uh, I want to do something for these children. So uh, we provide the textbooks and we give money, give money to these schools. We want the schools is can be paid. Uh, and now I'm in the Taiwan and Myanmar or in the Thailand uh, because our group I need to fund many many money to fund the money not to uh, cover this many company companies. Uh, Sandy, can I hear you very well? Can you go uh, go nearer the mic? Oh, okay. Um, 我是戴着蓝牙耳机 If anyone any question about me or about our group or about this project uh, This is Chinese oh, This is for Chinese uh, version Okay uh, Yes Okay um, so um, I can your main program is to also ask for donations uh, from the local Taiwan community to support some of the students, right? So a monthly yes. plan of 20, 200 uh, NTD or 1,400 NTD. Can you also explain yes. a little bit? Uh, and how many students you are uh -huh. supporting again? Okay, uh, 
朋友，负担他们的学费还有生活费。呃 ，three hundred students。它分散在十十六个学校，分散在十六个学校。呃呃 ，is a spread over sixteen schools in 呃拉肖，是不是都在拉肖 ？In 啊，都在 Sun State。对 ，Sun State。不是都在拉肖。嗯。呃 ，then 呃呃 ，these 呃 three hundred students are they supported by Taiwanese donations mostly? Yes， 都是台湾的资助人。Yes， 呃、okay. uh, ，and、uh, from your pamphlet， you also saying that international volunteer program， 呃、uh, ，meaning you、yes. ask Taiwanese， 呃、uh, ，young people to go to Myanmar as a volunteer， is that correct？ Yes， 我们利用寒假跟暑假招志工去缅甸的学校服务，一次两个礼拜或三个礼拜。Maybe two weeks or three weeks. We go to the、uh, Chinese school. We live in school, so we uh we design the course for the children. Uh, okay. Uh, I I translate a bit. Um, so Sandy was saying that uh during the summer holidays and the winter holidays. Uh, they will organize the Taiwanese uh young people, uh to go to Myanmar for volunteer training. So they will also go to the villages to teach the students, as well as the teacher. I also have a question on, um, uh, yeah, okay, so the. Uh, so you said you're supporting over two hundred and fifty children by the donations from Taiwan. Um. So yes. Uh, how are you moving the money? Uh, this is also one of the key questions I was asked by the board of director. Uh, because we cannot uh make any transaction in uh uh hopefully uh. Not to not to see the money coming from Taiwan to Myanmar. Are you going to handle this as well? Uh, 我们的话就是用银行，用银行汇到缅甸的银行汇款。那因为我们单位呃收进来捐款喽，话会开收据。那个是我们在台湾合法做这个项目，跟福仁社合作的话也是。所以我在台湾收到了台币啊，汇款汇到缅甸去。Um. So that means, uh, the Taiwan clubs、uh, donation, uh, the money. But we, uh, I mean, uh, in the agreement in the MOU, there was a a term saying that the money, uh, will have to be governed by the international club and the host club. So, uh, my question is that, uh, uh, how. How would you uh how how is the arrangement now? So the Taiwan clubs will uh give the money to your Taiwan uh NGO right? Account. They call Taiwan、uh, yes. Ta Taiwan or yes. organization, and then it、yes. will be you sending money to Myanmar, Myanmar to buy、Bank. the desk and chairs, to buy the building materials, to build the uh extension. Uh, and the toilet,、yes. right? Yes. Okay. 但是有些费用是在台湾支出，社长，像是教材要运输过去，我们就是在在台湾结账，这个就不用在缅甸付款。Okay, okay. 有些 so some of the expenses will be uh made in Taiwan. So like the books, like the payment for the transportation. So this part, the all the expenses will pay in Taiwan. And then the goods will be sent to Myanmar, so there will not be any transactions in、uh, Myanmar. Okay. Is. Uh, any other questions? Uh, P. Hasita. Yeah. You know, sorry, I have I think few questions. Uh, Sandy, first of all, very nice presentation, and、uh, it's it's glad to know that you have done the two project uh earlier. So this may be, but I understood this is a third project. So my uh. First question is this: uh, This uh, current uh, uh, okay, as of the information you are receiving on the ground from 
from the this particular area or the village or the team from Yangu. Uh, are they say is 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 it uh, I mean logistically uh, the, the things are clear. I mean to to go to this particular area or transport the item from Yangu to this particular area because what we heard is. Uh, like Northern Shansi is, is not much uh, safer to travel and uh, no any uh, foreigners also uh, crossing over there. Even the locals also worry, something like that. So my first question is based on the information you are getting from the, the real location, how is the situation there? Is, is it normal or is it uh, a little bit sensitive currently? Oh, sorry, sir.地方实际的情况那我們以前也曾經是送到曼谷從美索進到苗瓦迪然後再送到拉修這樣子也有兩種路線都有等等。So uh, Sandy was explaining that uh, the in the previous case they have uh, run the goods from Yangon to Shan State. They have also tried to run the goods from uh, Bangkok and then Mekong and then uh, go over to Shan State. So both sides are okay. Uh, situation in the local is a little bit sensitive, but they can still move things. So the schools are still running uh, because they are Chinese schools. Uh, they are teaching the Chinese. So uh, uh, meeting will end in 10 minutes. Anyway, so uh, yeah, any other, any other questions? Yeah, uh, second one is uh, uh, at this, I mean, during this project, is the uh, the local administration and people or I don't know is it we call uh, uh, the quarter in charge or uh, those people also involving or is this doing by totally uh, our uh, like an NGO is it totally separate from the government administrative connection? So which way is happening? Because some of our project in Yangon is we we connecting with the local administration them to involve. Uh, this type of project, so it's become their own one, uh, like a part in charge or area police police in charge or something like that. So my question is, this like these projects is uh, the current local government officers are uh, involving or totally is doing without them? Sandy, you said you know he's asking. Okay, he's asking. 他在問政府端的問題了嗎對對對那你們的這個項目有沒有政府的介入或者還是這是純粹的是民間的機構那如果是那需不需要有政府的許可我們的項目如果是講這個項目的話是沒有跟台灣的政府有什麼合作的它就
it's not a new school, so uh, it was covered from before already. Okay, thank you. Yeah, um, thank you, Sandy. Yes, thank you. Uh, 社长,我补充一下,像这样子, 学校的这个工程，我们大概执行过二十所学校，就是类似这样子的空间做优化的工程，可以跟大家分享。页面我也有介绍到。嗯，在哪里？在讲我们做过的事情，在前，在前，在页这个二十所学校的这个工程，都是
I'll go. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. No other question from other side. The people have. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, the last question I have uh, is uh, regarding the agreement. Uh, we have one minute and 46 seconds. Okay, uh, the main problem is that uh, there is a clause where the whole sponsor and the international sponsor need to make up a committee uh, with at least three members. So uh, this will probably be something that uh, will go to the next year. Uh, for the uh, uh, MOU for this uh, document, we probably have no problem. But when we are starting up the uh, agreement with, uh, uh, with the Taiwan Rotary Club, uh, we'll need to uh, select and confirm who will be in this committee. Uh, of course, the Taiwanese club, they have uh, oh, let me uh, uh, explain a little bit of the of the Taiwan's uh, uh, the Rotary Club of uh, Sindian Green Lake. Um, they are a club of 15 years. They are now having 60 members. Um, and uh, they have uh, they have a lot of money <laughs> and uh, they are uh, trying to do some uh, uh, international project. This is their first uh, global grant. And uh, this global grant will be the largest global grant uh, for the for this year's uh, regional. And the planning was to uh, get the money this year, and then continue and work on the uh, 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 real uh, phase of the construction 